Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you my version, my variation of the triumph trick. So this is how the performance would normally go. It's an impromptu trick, so there is no setup or whatsoever. Let's say the spectator chose this card. I want to see it. There we go. And now just simply get the card lost somewhere in the middle of the deck. From here, I'll just give a deck a few cuts. And I swear, I swear I did not control your card to top or to the bottom, okay? Therefore, your card is actually somewhere in the middle of the deck. Now, to make it even more difficult for me to find your card, I'm going to be shuffling the cards face up to the face down. So I would just pharaoh the cards like so, push the cards in so that I'm shuffling the face up cards to the face down cards like that. And I'll just push them in. Sorry, I just touched the camera, whatever. So now I'm going to show you the chaos in the deck. Now it's going to be some cards are facing up while some cards are facing down like that, right? And sometimes some cards are facing up and facing down like that, or some cards are both facing down. But eventually, if I just snap my fingers and rub it like that, the only card that's actually be f that will be facing up is your card, the Four of Hearts. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so this is quite a long tutorial. It's a long sequence, long routine, because it's there are a lot of um, sleight of hand that's involved. So I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible, and I'm not going to go in detail because it's a really long trick. So let's say the Nine of Hearts, the red card, red back is a card that the spectator chose, and you're simply going to show that the card is actually going in the middle of the deck. While you're, then, while you're doing that and pushing the cards in and squaring it, you're going to catch a break on the top spectator's card, two random cards like that, catch a break, close it up, and square them up. From there, you're just going to do a double undercut to bring the spectator's card to the top. From here, what it should look like is that you should have two random cards, spectator's card on the third position at the top. And then from here, you're going to spread out the cards and show that all the cards are blue, all the cards are facing down. While you're closing it, you're going to catch a break on the top three cards. And then you're going to say, watch, the top card is not your card. So I have not controlled your card to the top. From there, you're going to grab all the cards from your break three cards, your uh, spectator's card, random card, random card, grab all the cards from the break and say your card is not at the bottom, drop all the cards from the break and turn it over and say I've not controlled your card to the bottom. So And then say your card is somewhere in the middle of the deck. If you know how to dribble, I guess you can dribble. If you don't know how to do that, you can actually fan the cards as long as you don't flash the bottom or you can just spread out like this. Okay, that's just to um, help the spectator think that all the cards are facing down at the moment. Now from here, if you have done everything right and if you've been following me very well, all the cards should be facing down except the bottom two, like these two cards, spectator's card, random card, and um, the very last card should be facing down. So two cards should be facing down, facing up. Excuse me. So from here, you're going to catch a pinky break. If you're advanced, you can either buckle the bottom two cards or you can just do a pinky, pinky count on the bottom two cards like what I'm doing right here, okay? If you don't know how to do either of those, you are I'm gonna you're in luck because I have my own techniques that I used to use before I knew how to do a pinky gaunt. So you're going to hold it in a mechanics grip. You're going to have your right hand cover it up while holding the deck in this kind of grip, your thumb at the very bottom edge, index and the middle finger at the top edge. From here, you're going to use your middle finger and your index finger to push off the very bottom card once, push off the second bottom card twice. I mean once again, like this. So from here, what it should look like from the bottom is that from the top, it doesn't look much, but at the very bottom, you've just pushed off the two cards, okay? Again, from here in an exposed view, let's say this is my middle finger. You're just gonna push off one, push off the next card, and because your hand is concealing, you're not gonna see it, and you're not gonna be pushing that much. While that's happening, you're going to now see how two cards are um, out jogged you can easily catch a pinky break by pulling it that down, squaring the cards up like so. So you have a pinky break on the bottom two cards. Perfect, right? Now you're gonna transfer that into a thumb break like this. I'm exaggerating quite a bit. It can be as small as this or smaller if you're good. 
And from here, once you transfer that to a thumb break on the bottom two cards, you're going to swing cut around half to your right to your left hand. And then at the exact same moment, you're going to square the cards up and drop all the cards from the break like so. And from here, this is what it should look like. Uh, one card at the bottom packet should be facing up and the bottom card of the top packet should be the spectator's card facing up again. So only two cards in theory should be facing up. From here, after you drop all the cards from the break, the bottom two cards, right? So you're at this position, swing cut, drop bottom two cards, and you're in this position. So without flashing, you're going to do two things at once. Your right hand is going to be doing that, right? You're just simply opening it and turning it over. At the same time, your left hand is going to do a wrist kill like that. So together, this is what it's going to look like from your pinky break, like that, okay? Again, like that. So you might want to do this relatively quickly so you don't flash the seven of diamonds like that. And from here, you're going to do a pharaoh shuffle. If you want, I guess you can do a table shuffle. As long as you don't do a riffle shuffle because you will be flashing all the face-up cards because if you haven't noticed, all the cards are facing up like that. So basically you're pushing face up cards to face up cards. So if you pharaoh like this, and there's a specific way of pharaohing, you must pharaoh it so that this packet, the top card of this packet remains at the top after you pharaoh it, the bottom part of this packet remains at the bottom after you pharaoh it. So if you are following what I'm saying, after you pharaoh it, this is what it should look like. See how this card, the top card remains at the top, this card remains at the bottom, like that. So from here, you're going to push it in around half, modify it in this kind of grip, and show that you're simply pushing in the face up cards to the face down cards, but then when you're doing the face down cards, after you show that all the cards are face up, don't show the very bottom card, maybe riffle halfway and then like that, because if you go from the start, you're going to be flashing one card that's facing down, okay? So from here, you're just going to do a wrist kill with your left hand? Like, would that be a wrist kill? But simply after you do that, you're simply going to turn the cards over like this, hold it like this without flashing anything and say all the cards are facing down. But basically you've done, what you've done is that while all the cards are facing up, you've been showing th these packets and then you're showing all the cards are facing down. Right? In my performance, you probably didn't catch it because no one's actually going to catch it unless you're a magician. From here, you're just simply going to push all the cards in together and then turn the packet over once. If you have done everything correctly and if you've been following me perfectly, the very top card that's facing down should be the spectator's card. The very bottom card that's facing down should be a random card. All the cards between should be facing up. Okay? So, if you have done that correctly so far, congratulations, you have been doing really well. From here, this is now where it gets a bit complicated because you're going to show the disorder in the deck. You're simply going to cut around halfway like this, and then your right hand is just going to do that. It's going to do that and then close. Do that and close. While you're doing that, your left hand is going to do something special. That, your left hand is going to flip over this packet really quickly, and then close. While you're doing that, you're simply going to say, look, this card should be facing up, and this card should be facing down, and then you're just going to do that. See what I did there? If you didn't see it, go rewatch it, but I'll just for you, I'm gonna do it again. So all the cards are like this, cut around half, your hand is gonna do that. See how these cards are facing up when they're facing, when they should be facing down and see from here and see how these cards are facing down when they should be facing up and then you're just going to simply turn the cards over and then from here you're going to do a push off top card pinky break like so get a pinky break on the top card and close the packets so you still have a pinky break and then this time you're going to pick up all the cards from the pinky break and say this time these both cards are facing down and then this is very important you're going to use your index finger to after you open it like this, twist the cards a bit like that, and then drop the cards like so. So if you have done everything correctly, all the cards should be facing down, except one card, the spectator's chosen card, the red card, and that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it's hard, it's a long routine, but it's a great triumph trick. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.